Hello everybody, my name is Mason and today I'm going to be reviewing a movie that came out in 2018. It's called Lover. God damn it, Bollywood, not that movie, this movie. So this movie was created by Ralph Seppi Jr. You guys might know him as Ralph the Movie Maker on YouTube. He's a filmmaker, a critic, and currently a student in college studying film. And this is his first ever feature film. Now, I heard about this movie when he first announced it a couple of years ago, and I've been interested in seeing it ever since. Now, as I said, it's his first ever feature film, and the budget was around $10,000, and considering he's still a student, I thought this movie was pretty damn good. But there still was a lot of glaring issues with this movie, which is understandable considering it's his first time directing a feature. So real quick, I'm going to get into a few of the issues I had with this movie. Now right off the bat, something that made me a little bit upset going into this is the fact that it was in black and white. And no, it's not because I can't watch black and white movies. It's because there were so many pictures and there was even a trailer in color in each different season that this movie took place in had a different color grade and it was a very cool concept that Ralph introduced early on when he was trying to crowdfund for this movie. He completely scrapped that and put it all in black and white, which I don't know if there was reasoning behind it because he shot it in color and it seemed like there was a purpose for having color in it. And I feel like just to throw it in black and white might've been just a lazy decision. Usually if people are shooting a movie in black and white, they know that ahead of time and they plan on shooting it in black and white or changing it in post. One thing that surprised me was the cinematography in this movie. After watching a lot of Ralph's other films, I'd say that this is the best in terms of cinematography. There was some nice camera movement. The shots looked clean. They looked good. Not a whole lot of grain for the most part, but it was inconsistent. You could still tell a few times that there were some mishaps with the camera movement. There were some shots that were slightly out of focus, but overall I thought the cinematography was pretty nice. One thing that was added to this movie that I haven't seen in other Ralph short films were the drone shots. I think these really helped tell the story the way that it needed to be told, especially with that bird's eye view car shot. I thought that was very, very nicely done. Now in making a movie, it's arguable that audio is more important than visuals. And I think they should have focused a little bit more on it in this film. Now don't get me wrong, you could listen to this movie. All the dialogue, you could tell what they were saying, but there were a few mishaps that were noticeable. The one example I can think of was during a phone call conversation. Um, usually you have one person on the phone and you can hear the other person, but they have like a phone filter. Both people had the phone filter over their voice and it just didn't make sense for the scene. But again, I'm nitpicking. You could hear the audio. There wasn't a lot of hiss or noise in the background. I thought he did a pretty solid job with that overall. Also, just one more thing for audio. There was a scene, I think, I think it might have been during the beach scene. I'm not 100%, but there was some ADR and you could 100% tell that they used ADR to fix that. Um, again, I'm nitpicking. It's a movie made for $10,000, so considering that, they did a really good job for audio. Now, in terms of the story of this film, I really enjoyed it, and that's really the thing that got me to continue watching it and not just shut it off and say, I'm done with this. I don't usually do that anyways, but this story had me interested. It was kind of a love story, kind of not, kind of a love triangle story, again, kind of not. And there were a bunch of elements included into this film that really made it interesting. Now, the character of Howard, who was played by Ralph Seppi, didn't really have any development, but that's not 100% necessary for a film. I'd say that his significant other, or the one he wanted to be his significant other, had more of an arc than him. So at least you had some character development in the film. One tip I'd give Ralph for future films is to not act in his own movies. I really think that if he was behind the camera for this and got to direct more than he acted, I think the film would have turned out a lot better. And that's not a knock on his acting abilities or his ability to multitask. But I just think like be behind the camera and really just make a solid film and worry about directing. Now the story in this movie really, really had me interested because you didn't know where it was going. This movie could have gone in so many directions and I'm really happy with the ending that they had. One movie I'd say this is similar to is Gone Girl and I would say that's a pretty big compliment considering that was directed by David Fincher. I don't want to go too much into the story because then we'll get into spoiler territory and I don't want to do that. But just know that I like this movie. It wasn't perfect, but it's watchable and for a first feature film, hey, 
I know that Ralph is a really talented filmmaker. I just want to see him put all the pieces together and make the best film that he can. So can't wait to see what he does next. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to leave a like below and I will see you all next time.